hello everyone last time we have created admin panel that is let's go to incognito window here open your incognito window new incognito window and which we can go to our admin login we have created this login page for admin come admin is the admin username and admin123 is my password uh, here admin can view order list of orders all orders with the status order details etc and now we are going to uh, implement another feature here that is admin can manage this order that is admin can change the status of the order from uh, order processing and to pending computed etc okay so let's uh, move to our um, code and let's make a url to manage that path admin this order does i want to give the id here int colon pk here uh, for the order id and another thing does admin order and order id does change okay so um, admin order is status change view dot age underscore view name equals to ad admin order status change okay so let's go to this view here and here Plus admin order status view let's make it just view and uh, here I want to inherit this admin required mix in here so that only admin can access this view and in this method I want to use the post method here because here we are handling post request self so re request args and works okay and after that we will return a redirect to our um, let's leave it as it is for now uh, we will redirect to our detail page okay so the url patterns of the detail page is admin order detail okay return redirect uh, and here i want to write reverse lazy here to make a url pattern and here Mm, I want to write ecom app colon admin order detail and works equals to the key is pk and the value is uh, self dot quarks here and the quarks is pk and first of all let's get the uh, I don't let's get the order id order id equals to self dot quarks and pk and uh, we can pass this argument here okay order id and let's get order object order underscore obj equals to uh, order dot objects dot get id equals to order id okay now now let's uh, leave it as it is for now we will come back to it later and let's go to our order detail admin order detail dot html and in admin order detail dot html below the table I, um, I want to so I want to make a form tag here the action is our new URL that will handle uh, our status change um, URL e come app colon admin order status change and we need order of order obj dot id okay because in url you can see that here we have um, to get this primary key okay and we have used this primary key here and let's go to our form and in our form we make us since this form is a post method we will write csrf token here and also we need a form element we will use select as a form element our uh, name is status 
uh, I don't want to write ID here because I'm handling it with backend and name is sufficient for it now in the option here I want to show all the order status that is defined in our models okay and these are the order status and I want to send it to our detail page in our detail page let's make a get context data method to pass the data from backend to frontend self and quarks context equals to super dot get context data quarks and finally return context and I want to uh, pass data all status okay and in all it status I want to send this variable okay order status okay now we can get it to our HTML page and I want to look through that tuple and for i comma j in all status and I want to uh, right here I want to write here and for and the element is option here and option value will be I option value will be I or J both are same thing okay you can do whatever you want I and J okay so these are the options and now whenever you go to your detail page you can see that there are there are no options here so let's check what happened here all status spelling mistake here now if we refresh it we can see that order received order but uh, the current order order 9 is order processing but we are seeing order received here so I want to change it first so let's make it correct if uh, I equals to equals to um, order ORD object dot order underscore status we make it selected okay and if so let's check it now you can see that here is not order uh, if you refresh the page you can see that here is order processing and here is also order processing okay okay now here we need a button button to change the status okay this will submit the form and here I want to give class um, btn btn dash um, info okay this will be like this let's refresh it I think I have not saved it I have saved it but uh, why the hell is not so oh it is in the select let's um, make it inside the form okay now let's refresh the page and you can see that change button is there and after that if someone submit this form what will happen they will be redirected to the same page okay but uh, if you go there is a post request you can see it from here uh, to our order status change view okay so let's uh, print something here print something here to confirm um, let's mm, this class is requ requested let's print it here and let's confirm and go to our view let's refresh it let's hit this in console you can see that this class is requested and now what we need to do is uh, we need to get the value from the, we need to get this value okay the selected value from our backend okay so let's let um, status equals to status means new status new status equals to request dot post dot get and I think the field name is status so let's confirm it this is status okay let's go to our status and let's print it here okay new status comma to um, and now let's refresh it uh, let's hit change button here and we can see that order processing is achieved okay so if we go to make it order completed then you can see that in change you can see that 
there is an order completed so we get the data successfully so uh, now one thing remaining is we need to change the, our order object order status to new status okay and then we have to save our save our object so if you go if you now go to um, your uh, all order page then go to this uh, order received and now here status is order received so if i go to here and i want to change it to order processing and change now you can see that here is order processing if you go to on the way let's go to on the way change on the way you can refresh and check the changes uh, took place in our database okay so let's make it completed change order completed okay so let's um, only one order is now pending order so let's go here and let's make it also proce order processing let's change it now you can see that no pending orders are there and if you go to all orders you can see that on some 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 orders are order processing and some are completed and in this way uh, admin can change the status of order this can be done using ajax also but i am i implemented a form here so uh, if you have any confusion about this you can comment in, in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer that question and thanks for watching.